Hi, welcome to 7 Facts. Here you'll find the most awesome collection of facts about every single country on Earth. Today we take a look at Tasmania. Check out this playlist to see the rest of the series. Before we begin, click the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this one. I upload twice a week so it'll be worth it. On November 24, 1642, the first European to discover Tasmania reached this part of the world. His name was Abel Tasman, hence the name of the island. He, of course, didn't name the place after himself. He called it Antoni van Diemen's Land, but for some reason, that name didn't catch on. After Abel's visit, Tasmania wasn't really explored and it took more than 150 years to discover that Tasmania was in fact an island. Once the British claimed the land and started the colonization process, Tasmania became Britain's prime penal colony, with around 75,000 convicts sent there. In all, roughly 40% of all convicts sent to Australia ended up in Tasmania. Today, Tasmania is Australia's only island state and the smallest state in the country. It isn't all alone though, an additional 334 smaller islands and islets surround Tasmania. Although the main island is the 26th largest in the world, only 519,000 people live here. But it is a good place to live. You're guaranteed to encounter a lot of nature pretty much everywhere you go. Over 40% of the state is covered by protected areas, national parks and world heritage sites. If you want to sail in the waters of Tasmania, don't venture too far south. Just 2500 kilometers to the south lies Antarctica, which is actually nearer than Australia's northernmost point. Hobart is the capital city of Tasmania, located in the south of the island. And while Tasmania is known to be one of the wettest states in Australia, it may surprise some to know that Hobart is actually the second driest capital city in Australia, second only to Adelaide. Most people think that Tasmania is a wet and damp place, yet in Hobart, it's not the case. Hobart receives an average rainfall of 570 mm of rain every year, which is about as much as in Jerusalem in the Middle East. Being one of the major penal colonies of Australia, Tasmania has a rich cultural heritage from those times. Five of the state's convict sites are now World Heritage Sites. These sites can of course be visited and still manage to present visitors the living and working conditions of the convicts and the strong distinction between masters and prisoners. Keep in mind that virtually none of these penal colonies were meant to give the prisoners a good life. Their aim was to combine hard labor with unrelenting surveillance in an effort to reform the convicts and transform them into law-abiding citizens. Or at least that was the idea. The vast majority of the sites in Tasmania remain in their original form, so if you want to get an idea of how Australia's first inhabitants survived and lived out their lives, this is the place you want to visit. Now let's talk about the island's most famous inhabitant, the Tasmanian Devil. This little mammal is actually the largest remaining carnivorous marsupial. But even they are an endangered species. They once inhabited the entire Australian continent, but today can only be found in Tasmania. Aside from being hunted for centuries, they also developed a new disease called the Devil Facial Tumor Disease, which further diminished their numbers. The reason why they are called devils is because of their extremely loud and disturbing screech and implacable viciousness. Their large head and neck also allow it to generate among the strongest bites of any mammal land predator. So, despite their small and cute appearance, they are definitely not to be played with. Hopefully though, their numbers will start to climb once more, as they are not just an iconic symbol of Tasmania, but also a vital part of the island's ecosystem. The hue and pine trees of western Tasmania are some of the oldest living things on earth. 
They grow very slowly. A 20 meter tree could be thousands of years old, so their size can be misleading. Discovered in 1995 by a forestry worker, the ancient Huan pine is reproducing genetically identical male copies, aka clones of itself. While the oldest individual tree or stem on the site now may be 1000 to 2000 years old, the organism itself has been living there continuously for 10,500 years. By studying the tree rings on the Huan Pines, climatologists have been able to establish a continuous record of climatic change over more than 3700 years. As a consequence, the Lake Johnston Nature Reserve has received one of the highest ranked protections available in the world, reflecting its immense significance to the botanical and scientific communities. Tasmania allegedly has the cleanest air in the world, monitored by the Cape Grim Baseline Air Pollution Station since the 1970s. The lack of pollution is due to the position of the island in the Southern Ocean, far from other land masses. Government scientists had studied the air in Tasmania and actually concluded that because there are basically no continents or land masses inhabited by man until you reach South Africa, the place is practically free from pollution. The prevailing winds always come in from the southwest, bringing nothing but pure air. So if you needed another reason to move here for good, there you go. These were 7 facts about Tasmania. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Share your thoughts downstairs in the comment section and afterwards check me out on Facebook and Twitter. A good way to offer more support to this channel is through Patreon. Link in the description. I hope to see you next time. Bye.